Welcome back, guys. Let's talk about flams. Uh, flams, in and of themselves, or you know, it's a pretty simple rudiment. All you do, you have your main note. You already know how to hit the drum, right? Get a nice rebound. And what you're going to do, you're going to add right before you hit a little grace note, a little really tiny grace note. Grace, G R A C E, grace note. That low right there. You're going to use your, use mainly your fingers to pull off that uh, grace note, all right? And it's just that you just drop, you know, about maybe about three inches off the head, right? About three inches or so, depending on the sound you want. Um, eventually, you may even want to get a bigger grace note, but um, for now, we'll just say three inches off the head. So that's going to hit first, and then you're going to hit your main note. See, that's the way you develop them. You work on just being able to play this low first, and then you do it separately. Then you separate it. See, grace note, main note, grace note, main note, then slowly. See, in slow motion, put them together. Make sure this one, the low one, always hits first. All right? See, this is a right flam because the right hand's bigger. All right? Tendency for youngsters is to do this because they're focused on the big part, right? The, and then, you know, the, you got the low hands kind of like out of sight, out of mind, right? So the tendency is to go, uh, right? You want to make sure the little hand hits first. It's closer to the drums, therefore it should hit first. All right? Left flam's the opposite. Right hand does the grace note, about three inches off the head, and then you slowly put them together. Grace note, regular note, grace note, regular note, slowly put them together. Then regular, see? Now, you know, the, 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 the execution of flams can vary. You can do, you know, you can do a low flam like this. You can bring up the grace note. And this works really well on the drum set when you do like when you're splitting up the toms, you know, broom, broom, that kind of thing with a nice big fat sound. Um, whatever adjustments you make on the flam, make sure you're doing them on purpose. Don't be, in other words, don't be stuck like when you first start playing flams. Don't get stuck doing this all the time, all right? Because that doesn't work very well when you want to go fast. See, I'll do that same thing, but with a big fat grace note doesn't work very well, right? So you want to be able to vary your flams, you know, purposefully. All right, guys. Hey, I hope that helps. And um, this video will definitely lead into the execution of other flam rudiments like the flam tap, flam paradiddle, and uh, so forth. Okay, guys, practice hard, and we'll see you the next time. Thanks.